Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. Today, um, we from team three, uh, group three, we're going to present our team project three for cell 2102, effective speaking and learning. Um, hello, my name is Amir Shafika Binti and my magic number is 200925. Oh, hi everyone, my name is Norsha Sana Binti Zainal, metric number 202869. Hi everyone, my name is Nuru Fazila Binti Muhammad Isa, metric number 202871. Uh, hello, my name is Tom Fazila Binti Zabul Ahmad, my metric number is 208051. Okay, we will proceed with the video overview for this presentation. For this overview or summary, we could like say that this video of a speech discuss how gender equality should be implemented in today's society. Negative communal perceptions about gender-based activities and disdain for women's abilities in particular areas. For this project, we need to analyze uh, any paraphrase or nonverbal activity such as body language, gesture. So I will proceed in my part first. For the first part that I could, the oh, paralinguistic and non verbal features. So, in this first part, is this pauses. Uh, in the, in, uh, we could see that the speaker have pauses in the minute, in the minute of two minutes and 40 seconds, where the speaker has a light, slight pauses between the expressions, too strong, too aggressive, isolated, and demand and attractive also. The speaker, uh, have these pauses to emphasize the expressions that has been used to call to labor. Too strong, too aggressive, isolating, and anti men. <laughs> Next, we could see that in the uh, in the minute second minute of twenty eight second to the second minute and thirty five seconds, the speaker threw out a question: Why has the word become such an uncomfortable one? To the audience and the slight pause in the visible after the question has been mentioned, the, uh, the speaker said like that because the speaker wants the audience to understand and think about the questions truly. Why has the word become such an uncomfortable one? And last but not least, in my part, uh, in the the two minute in the part of two minutes thirty nine seconds until the three minutes eight seconds, there are slight pause for every opinion that is that is being expressed by the speakers. The speakers wants to point out these gender equality issues that should be applied nowadays. I am from Britain and I think it is right that I am paid the same as my male counterparts. I think it is right that I should be able to make decisions about my own body. I think it is right that women be involved on my behalf in the policies and the decisions that will affect my life. I think it is right that socially I am afforded the same respect as men. Thank you. Uh, now I will pass uh, this like, presentation to Shazana. Thank you, Amina Shafika. So my part is I will explain paralinguistic and nonverbal features uh, for intonation. I will briefly explain intonation. In here, uh, there, there is two types of intonation, which is falling intonation, falling intonation and rising intonation. Falling, falling intonation is a uh, most common intonation pattern in English is commonly found in statement, comments, uh, information question, confirmatory question tag, and exclamation. Uh, 
The next one is a uh, rising intonation. Rising intonation is uh, for choice, list, unfinished talk, and uh, conditional sentences. So uh, in this video, there is I want to list out three examples uh, that show intonation. Uh, from the time frame uh, 31 second to 39 second, the speaker has used falling tone intonation for the sentence. If there is one thing I know for certain, uh, it is that this has to stop. So I believe the intention of the speaker is to attract the audience uh, to the main point of her speech, which is why the issue of gender equality have to be stopped. If there is one thing I know for certain, it is that this has to stop. The second one is uh, at minute 1 and 43 seconds up to 1 minute 50 seconds. Uh, in this sentence, I decide I was a feminist and this seemed uncomplicated to me. The speaker has used short falling tone intonation. Uh, for the intention of the speaker is uh, the speaker wants to express her own opinion or stand by a statement. I decided that I was a feminist, and this seemed uncomplicated to me. And the last example that I have listed up uh, is at minute 3, uh, 10 seconds up until 3 minutes. 21 second. Uh, the speaker has used short rising tone intonation on the word, but sadly, in this sentence, but sadly, uh, I can say that there is no one country in the world where all women expect to receive this right. Uh, and I believe this, the intention of the speaker, uh, the speaker has an intent to express her feeling to the audience. But sadly, I can say that there is no one country in the world where all women can expect to receive these rights. That is all for intonation part. Next, I will pass to my uh, group member to continue. Fazila. Okay, um, next for my part, paralinguistic nonverbal stress. So sentence stress is a pattern of stress and untrustworthy across a sentence. Normally, this emphasis is on words that carry important information, although this can change significantly depending on the specific meaning the speaker wants to communicate. So in the video, stress that being used is at second night 19 to second 23 the speaker stresses on the word more in this sentence which is the more i have realized the that fighting for women's right the intention of the speaker is uh, in stressing the word more is to indicate that by now fighting for women's right is more related to the content in the next phrase that she talks about uh, the emphasis is therefore on she realized more the more I have realized that fighting for women's rights has too often become synonymous with man hating. Next, uh, at the second 24 to second 28, the speaker stresses on the word too often in the sentence, which is has too often become synonymous in Manhattan. The, the intention of the speaker in stressing the word 
too often is to make audience notice that people is too often say that fighting for women's rights is men should hate men. Has too often become synonymous rights. Has too often become synonymous with man hating. Lastly, at the second uh, thirty to second thirty nine, uh, the speaker stresses on the word one thing in this sentence, which is if there is one thing I know for certain, it is that this has to stop. The intention of the speaker stressing the word one thing is to show that it is very important to stop doing thing that she mentioned in the phrase before. If there is one thing I know for certain, it is that this has to stop. Okay, uh, we continue. Uh, but parallel linguistic uh, and number of features, I contact. Okay, so uh, I contact uh, happen when uh, each other look uh, at uh, our uh, at eyes at the same time. Okay, so in the context of human, uh, eye contact is a form of nonverbal uh, communication and is thought to have a large influence on social behavior. So uh, from uh, this uh, video, uh, we can see uh, about uh, 0, 0.0 to 1 uh, until 0 0.27 second. Uh, the speaker look around to make sure people listen to her speech about feminists. Uh, it because uh, when a speaker want to give a speech in front of large group of people, she look at the audience to see if they are paying atten attention to what she is saying because the speech is a serious issue. Realized that fighting for women's rights has too often become synonymous with man hating. Next, uh, zero twenty nine second until zero forty second. Uh, the speaker eyes look straight to make sure audience agree with her speech. Uh, okay, for the intention is the speaker was a uh, solemn expression so that the audience can think about and agree with what she is saying because it is a serious topic and perhaps half of the crowd agrees with her. If there is one thing I know for certain, it is that this has to stop. For the record, feminism by death. So we can see. And lastly, uh, <coughs> a minute two forty one until two fifty. The speaker eyes look very sad, and her eyes stay take away when we sh when we. When we she uh, want to say I am forbidden and to tell about her story, so the intention of the eye contact uh, that may uh, he looks at because uh, the speaker want to share awareness and she wants to say that women also must have higher quality than men and women should have their own decision just like uh, her. that I am paid the same as my male counterparts. Okay, we can see. I think it is right that I should be able to make decisions about my own body. 
I think it is right. Okay, that's all from me. Uh, that's all from us. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.